So today we're back with another video. I'm sorry it took so long and I want to thank everybody for all the support that we got on the other video with the homeless and we'll be doing updated videos with the homeless stuff going on in Edmonton. So today we're going to be talking to people about stabbings, there's been assaults, there's just been a whole bunch of crazy stuff going on in the subway station. Um, Open drug use, unsettling encounters, and the stench of human waste. At the Coliseum LRT station. The attack happened nearly a month ago involving a passenger and a stranger, but it's so safe to say incredibly surprising for that victim. Police say this was completely random. A 58-year-old man had just gotten off a train. He boarded the bus when he was randomly attacked. Seriously injured, especially to his face. For help to find the man responsible, 30, 6 foot 2 with a heavy build, a pair of 12-year-old girls face aggravated assault charges following the beating of a 55-year-old woman. In one of the most extreme cases, a father of seven was fatally stabbed in a random attack at the Belvedere Transit Station. It's not safe anymore, like when I was... We're at Belvedere Station right now. So basically, we just want to interview people and ask them, do they feel safe on the train? And what do they feel like the city's doing when it comes to the train system so all the violence can stop? And just stuff like that, you know? We just want to hear what the people got to say. Yeah. And also, with all the incidents going on, they've actually upped the security in all the subway stations and, you know, making it better. But at the end of the day, you could be right here and something could happen to you, even though there's cameras around. There's a whole bunch of cameras around. But it's just like, you know, what can you really do to prevent it? And even at the last station we're at, like, there was a security and he was just standing there. He wasn't really, like, doing nothing, just standing there. So like, you get paid to stand there or like, you know, walk around and do your job. I wonder if he wants to do an interview. only tells you so much we we're just bringing it to you raw and just talking to people in real time and hearing their honest opinion like you know careful with the camera because people on drugs are crazy oh we're not worried so we want to ask you today how's your experience been taking a transit whether it's daytime or nighttime with all the stabbing going on the assaults going on we want to hear your experience well this is a large problem this is a huge problem it's only getting worse so let's say now uh, I'm taking transit only once a week, LRT. I, am go I was going to the university today, and first some guy, he just uh, jumped from the platform on the track and ran somewhere in the tunnel at Central Station. And then I was uh, going to the university and some guy started smoking crack. And uh, of course there is an emergency button, but uh, you can't press it inside because you don't know that guy can have a knife or machete and he can just kill you and that's it. So the problem is, it's really, really bad. I don't know. Like... So we want to ask you, how's your experience taking a train? We seen, have you seen on the news, there's been stabbings on the train, there's been assaults on the train. So we want to know, how's your experience taking a train in the city? Not usually good, always scary. Always scary? Yeah. So how is it taking the train at day versus taking the train at night? I prefer to take it at daytime just because I'm a woman too. So it's obviously, I'm always aware of my surroundings. Okay. It's kind of hard to feel like I'm safe when I'm just walking around and stuff too. So yeah, if I can avoid taking the train at any time, I will. Okay. Yeah. Um, how do you feel about what the security and the peace officer are doing at the train station? Not really anything. Not really anything. Like, a lot of the time, if I see security at the train station, they're usually just on their phone or walking around not paying attention. So, okay. yeah. So what do you think the city can do better to keep people safe on while they're taking the trains, whether it's daytime or whether it's nighttime? Um, I noticed that, like, a lot of the time at, like, hockey games or football games, after the games, they'll have, like, 
security guards making sure like you have a bus transfer a ticket or something okay and like making sure you're i guess the right fit to go on the train so like just making sure that people will be less dangerous we just see as it's getting worse and worse and nobody's doing anything i was just recently recording a video from the value line LRT, so it was open around two months ago, and I was recording video for, for YouTube, like how nice it is, what it has, what are the benefits, what are the problems, yeah. And I was filming uh, shelters, and then like I came back there to Churchill, to one or two street stations, and almost all the shelters are broken. The doors are broken, they are dirty, there are needles there, there is garbage there, there are homeless there who sleep there who take drugs, so it's just unusable for people. So why like the city spent two billion dollars on this? This is nice, public transit is a very important thing. Like I'm from Europe, so I've been always using public, tra public transit, but they are just spending money on that without making anything to make sure that people are safe here. Nobody is safe. Um, one last thing, what has been like one of your, you would say your worst experience taking a train? Probably just, I see a lot of people sleeping or like a lot of homeless men in a sense will be on the train sleeping or they'll like look at me a lot, like look me up and down, try and talk to me, ask me for my number, stuff like that. And it just makes me uncomfortable. And just knowing that, um, just not even my own experience, just seeing on the news, it's always scary. Okay. I want to ask you, what's been your worst experience taking a transit? Uh, so, uh, me and my girlfriend, when we were taking a bus, so uh, we were going to Capilano and we were waiting at the bus stop and the guy was on drugs. So while we were waiting, he just uh, threw his bike on us and started like uh, yelling at us and things. So we went to Capilano, we had to come back. And when we, were, when we were coming back, there was another guy on the bus and he was drinking vodka inside the bus. And he started like touching me, swearing at me, like uh, yelling at me. We had to go to, a, to the bus driver and the bus driver called the police. So we stopped at the next stop. The police never came. And then we had to transfer to another bus. And then we, so we took that bus. And that guy also went on that bus on the next stop. And he started again like swearing at us. And then the next day, my girlfriend was going to her job and at the government station, a guy just took out and, and looked at her like this. She started running, like uh, she opened the door, she ran out of the station. And then the next day I was like, no, I need to have something to protect myself. So like, I don't care, the law doesn't allow me to have a bear spray or anything, I need to have something. So I went to buy a bear spray and then you know what happened when i was coming back some guy started like uh burning some drugs on the bus and people like nobody said anything like what is going on i go to a bus driver i say this guy what are you doing so uh he stopped the bus and this guy like went out of the bus and then i'm coming back and i see that this guy left the needle on the seat and nobody said anything and it's like stop the bus what is this like if some person sits on that or there will be some kid it can be hiv like anything this is crazy so yeah. that was probably the worst experience okay so what do you feel like the city can do better to make the transit safe for everyone using the transit whether it's nighttime or daytime only police only peace officers everywhere because there are securities securities are honestly like useless so it was around a few weeks ago when i was here also going to the university and we were at in that shelter inside and there was a, a couple with a small kid on the on the hands and some guy was like probably mentally ill and he started coming up to them like and proposing them to sell them uh, the tickets and then like started annoying them you know like almost falling on them because he was on drugs and these people had to leave it was, it was cold, like so people can't use it. Yeah. And uh, security was just there. You see this, this uh, platform? He was just there in that shelter at the end. And he was just 
like watching at his phone, like doing nothing. And I was like really angry because of that, because he's not doing his job. And I went up there and I tell him like, so what is your job? Why are you doing nothing? Like you are just standing there looking at your phone when people here are harassed and you are doing nothing. And this is the problem. And securities also can't do anything because they don't have right. To show her face. She and her friends were pepper sprayed after an altercation at Central Station. The teen says they called the police because the hired security guards on duty did not immediately take action. They didn't really do anything and it didn't really feel that safe. Their job isn't to intervene, it's to observe and report. That's according to the local transit union. But for many riders, that's beside the point. They feel unsafe and they want so help. So only peace officers can change anything. And also people, when they see something, they never say anything, you know, they don't press emergency button, they never like call to police, anything. They think, oh, if this person didn't touch me, it's not my problem. But like tomorrow it can be you who will be stabbed, like not me, you know. There's two sides. Attention Valleyland passengers, this train is now out of service. Please, please board the other train on the other track if you need to get down to 102. Thank you for riding the Valley Line. So you guys see what's going on in the city with the train, there's stabbings, assaults. I want to like hear your guys' experience on the train and like how do you guys feel safe and what do you think the city's doing to make the train station better for people? Honestly, I don't think they're trying at all because there's nothing honestly changing if it's happening that much and repeatedly more than once. If it happened once and it should have been stopped the first time and if it happens again, it's obviously not stopping. And more than twice, three times, four times, it's just never stopping. Okay. And they're kicking out the wrong guys that are just sleeping on the train. They're not doing anything wrong. The ones that are smoking on the train, yeah, understandable, kick them off the train. But if they're just sleeping, genuinely just sleeping on the train because it's cold out, you sh they should let them just sleep because it was like minus 40 the other week and so many people passed away freezing to death because of the cold and every day people are getting kicked out of the train station if they're not doing anything wrong then they should not be getting kicked out in my personal opinion if they're like smoking something then then they 100 percent should get kicked out but if they're just sitting there minding their own Next business train. then they should be left alone what's your guys like worst experience you've had on the train this guy, this guy, uh, we were all on the train and the train hit somebody, a train okay. like a person or something. It was over by a yeah, stadium. It was okay, like okay. two weeks ago, three weeks ago. So what do you guys feel like the security is doing for the train station? I think that if there were more security implemented, there would be a lot more like safer experience and for like people in certain places. Like there's like there's security in the places they think it would happen, but no security in the places that would like. It's not really popular and things, but it still happens and then they just don't care and then they start to go over there because there's no security and then it starts to get worse over there. Okay. So what do you guys feel like the city could do better to make the transit safer for people? Give the homeless a place to go. Yeah. Like every, like almost every like transit stop, get like a certain area where if there's a homeless person, people can go because then they'll just keep going to that spot and leave everyone else alone. Yeah. That's true. Gotcha. So what about you guys? Like what's your um, experience you've had? Uh, the worst experience on the train is definitely time to stop and hit somebody, but what I feel like they could do to make it more safe is more security guards. It's, there's never, I've never seen any, like, anywhere. There's one time where I saw two security guards here. That's the only time I've ever seen security here. I feel like if they had at least one or two security, like, anybody, at each stop, it would make it a lot safer, and at least one on each car. It would lock it down a lot. People actually Please paying attention to the cameras. The it would make it a lot safer for everybody. Okay, okay.
So you know what's crazy? Like since we've been on the train, like there's haven't seen no security on the train or no one even checking the tickets, like nothing at all. But um so we just came from Churchill and that's like over there was like really sketchy. Like it just it just like I just it's like you had that vibe like something was gonna go left. Cause even when we went back inside and like okay we're gonna go video something, it just it's got, it's got a vibe, it's like okay, let's go outside. Now you go outside and then the vibe outside is the same thing too, like it's just like uh it's kind of like uneasy, but yeah.